Hello guys, today I am in London and I'm shooting by myself so I, there's nobody, nobody will be following me but I will mount a, uh, an action camera on top of this thing. It's an Olympus Trip 35 so I will be shooting this camera and I'll also be shooting some Cola Color 200 and yeah that's it. Uh, let's see how it goes. One more. One more. Three, two, one. 
to shoot the 24 frames but I only shot 20 so I hope you don't mind uh, I ran out of time and I had to go back to Hastings but I can give you my insights about the camera about the Olympus Trip 35 um, so what can I say it's an interesting camera it's really nice it's it's heavy for I mean it's not super heavy it's not gonna weigh on your arm but it's it's heavy enough to feel like it's a sturdy camera it's it's it has some metallic parts I don't know it feels it feels like a sturdy camera now a few interesting things about this, you can measure, uh, you can more or less guesstimate the distances, but it also has the measures with drawing. So it has one person, two people, group shot and landscape. Now the funny thing is on the other side you have the meters and the feet. So you can put it on people and you say, oh, how far was that? And you turn the camera around and it says, oh, it's three feet, one meter. It's pretty cool, I think. Um, so it helps to guesstimate the distances, but also to have a more accurate sense of uh, how far away things are. So that's good. Um, now a few things that are pretty specific to this camera. This camera doesn't use any kind of batteries. So it draws its power from the ambient light. So the camera automatically, regarding to the amount of light around, will select the shutter speed and yeah, and the aperture. Uh, I think that's pretty awesome. Another cool thing is the camera itself will not allow you to take a picture if there's not enough light to activate the shutter. Meaning if I put my finger in here, I'm not able to take the shot and there's like a red thing jumping uh, telling you that you cannot take the shot. So you won't lose a picture because it's too dark. You can also use it with flash too. That's, that's an interesting thing also. You can put a flash on top of this camera for example, I'm going to put this uh, SB24 and you can choose the aperture that you want to use because as we know, the aperture controls the amount of flash and let's say I want it at 5.6 so you can put your favorite flash and adjust to the aperture accordingly. I think that's pretty awesome. Well, you know me and you know that if I, if there's one thing that I really like about cameras is when you have like the advanced lever, but this camera has a thumb wheel, which is okay. It's not my favorite system, but it's it's the th thing that it has. Another interesting thing that this camera has is when you're focusing or when you're guesstimating the distances, the viewfinder has a small tiny window in which you can see the uh, distance that you're setting. So for example, now I am in close, like for uh, one single person. Now I am in two people, group shot and landscape. And I'm seeing all the distances right here. So that's a nice thing because I know where I am. And I don't have to constantly take the camera out of my eye to take a picture. I can just use the small uh, window on the viewfinder. So that's cool. It uses this really nice 40 millimeter 2.8 lens, which is supposed to be super sharp and super amazing. My experience, this specific model that I'm using for some reason, I guess it has to do with the power cells. Uh, it underexposes, so I have to constantly use a lower ISO than what I'm supposed to use. I was shooting this film, which is a 200 as a film, and I, I, I set it to a lower speed, like 125, and it still needed more light. So probably if I, it like this happens only with my specific model. I don't know if this happens to every other camera or if it's due to age, which is probably the reason. Uh, but I, I'm constantly needing to overexpose for this camera. So tell it 
but I have a slower uh, film in order for it to operate. I had a fun time with this camera. It's super simple. I enjoy this kind of pocket cameras that you can choose their distance like a Lomo LCA or the XA or whatever. So it's a, it's a fun experience. And I'm really happy because one of my patrons will get this camera and enjoy it for me <laughs> and have an amazing time. Um, I don't have much to say. That's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week with another episode. And um, that's it. Until then, keep shooting.